last time on the ZM Review. Short, but I gotta rush it to do another to do another review, which is this little bit of origami madness. We now return to the ZM Review. Hello, YouTubers. Zeltrax Millennium back with a review, vlog, or an unboxing. Please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you all enjoy the video. Hello, YouTubers. This is Zeltrax Millennium with a new review and part two of my Generations Trilogy. Part two is, well, because we're looking at Generations Bumblebee. Now, this Bumblebee was based on the Bumblebee from the War for Cybertron video game. I've played it, and it was awesome. Though I mostly played as Optimus Prime, so I might have to replay it multiple times just to get me a shot at playing Bumblebee. So, yeah. And, uh, it's a very nice car mode. It kind of looks like his original Volkswagen Beetle mode. Hmm. It's kind of the right shape for it. Hmm. Who knows? Some, uh, smoky black translucent headlights here. You can see a Autobot symbol right there, but it's so muted in there, I don't think you can see it. Also, these smoky black translucent bits continue on in the... All over the car mode, including the red lines, which are indicative of the ones you saw in the video game, which is nice. Well, actually, one second. I'm going to take his gun out, and yes, this Bumblebee comes with a gun! Yeah, his wheels are nice, though a lot, though the back ones are a bit loose, but you'll see why in a bit. But yeah, all of this car is a golden yellow color, which is, ugh, scrumptious. I love it. But yeah, this thing is really nice, and I love it so. Also, these detailings of the red bits here, and also in the back, and also some red translucent bits on the wheels, which is nice. I guess you can call that light piping on wheels. So, yeah, let's get this guy transformed into his robot mode. And let me tell you, before I, before I start, let me just tell you, this thing is ORIGAMI MADNESS! Now we have Generations Bumblebee in robot mode. Now, this thing looks very much like his video game counterpart. I will not lie. But his transformation was just... Oh, uh, it's right up there with the leader class figures. I only have one of those leader class figures, so I'm glad I don't have any more of them. Or else I'd be in an insane asylum right now. Ugh. So anywho, let's get... Let's continue with the detailing. You got some very nice silver detailing on the legs here, which is nice, and also some silver on his, uh, <coughs> crotch. But, yeah, it's all very nice. And, uh, let's take a look at that head sculpt. Oh, that head sculpt is perfect for Bumblebee. It's just like his Generation 1 head. Oh, and, uh, by the way. Live pipe! Aw, oh, damn it! Yeah, it is a definite crying shame to lose that light piping. But yeah, it definitely looks like they might have been able to enter it, engineer it in, but looks like they decided against it at the last minute. Hmm, I don't know why. Oh well. Can't always win, I guess. But enough about that. Let's get started with the articulation. Now, for being such a bulky figure, I guess a shelf warmer, Bumblebee has quite a bit of articulation. Of course, he's got the usual shoulders. They go all the way around, but they're hindered by his uh, back flaps. A little bit. Can swivel at the 
upper part of the arm. Double jointed elbows, which is what I liked on Generations Red Alert, which is nice. A twistable hand, and it can go. A twistable hand, and it can go in and out a little bit. Plus his waist turns 360, which is nice. His head's on a ball joint, so it can go really high up, really down, all the way around. So that way you can pull a Beetlejuice. Legs go forward and back very far, again. The legs can go out that way. And they can also bend at the knee, which is nice. Oh yeah, also some little, some extra golden yellow bits right there. Nice. Now for accessories, Bumblebee has a few accessories. One is his are these Energon blades, I guess you could call them, which I don't think he used in the game. I'll have to go back and double. I'll have to go back and double check about it. But then he also has his gun. That's right. This Bumblebee finally comes with a gun. And he can hold it. Very nicely. Actually. So yeah. Pretty much he's dual wielding weapons in order to fight off the evil forces of the Decepticons. So yeah, that's really cool. And for a size comparison, here he is with Thrust. If we can get him into the shot. But, yeah. Bumblebee is a very nice figure. And I suggest you get him, once you can find him in stores anywhere. So yeah, that ends part two of this review. Part three will be with Thrust over there. And I'll try to get that review out before the weekend, I swear. So, until then, this is Eltrix Millennium, saying goodnight.